like cerebral, like long time. I mean, I've played against a few like high trophy winners, so like big ups to Grayson. Like he's, uh, he's a real good. Um, I don't know, man. It's just he, he really takes care of the ball. Like he, I don't, I don't really remember him throwing the practice this whole. I mean, an interception this whole camp practice, you know. So like, that's a big shout out to him, and as well as CJ Bailey, um, you know, the young guy. He's doing well too. He's spending. What can this team be this year? Uh, we can be what we want to be. You know, it's really up to us. Uh, only us can beat us. You know, that's how we feel. You know. Um, as you can see in a lot of football games, that like people capitalize on mistakes. It's not necessarily people making a lot of plays. So we just got to buckle down on our job. And you know, when the moment of truth comes, you got to be able to capitalize. This thing's getting closer to where y'all going to be in game week, but it's not yeah. that far away. How exciting is that? It's very exciting. You know, um, college football has always been exciting. It's everyone's dream. Uh, you know, it's just time to go all out. Can you describe what it's like to go through the tunnel, touch the roof, and then run out? Honestly, I never, I never had. This will be my first time, so I'm looking forward to. What do you think you'll feel? Man, probably be like home. You know, like all these people coming out to see us play. You know, it's definitely a blessing. You know, to be able to be at this level that we're in now. Are there times where you're like, okay, Coach Gibson's changed this way, but he sure hasn't changed that way? Yeah, I mean, like, it's unfortunate I didn't really get to, you know, develop that relationship when I was at West Virginia. You know, I, I came into college early. Uh, January 19, and you know that staff got fired like a week while I was there. So, you know, unfortunately, he wasn't have, able to have that football relationship, be able to pick his brain and actually learn. But you know, everything is full circle. I'm here now. You know, move on from everything else. Has, has practice become a grind yet? I know it seems like the first game is so far away. Is it a grind right now, or is Coach doing a good job of keeping things fresh for you? I think everything is a grind, both on and off the field. You know, you got to be cognizant of that, and the reason why we're here. And how do you how do you how do you adjust to that? I mean, how do you, you know, keep it to, to where it doesn't wear you guys down? You remember your why? Why you do this game? Why you play this game? You know, whether it's family member, you know, etc. What's your why? What's my why? Yes, uh, God and my family. Honestly, you know, that's why I do it. For, that's my purpose. Uh, apologies, you were asked this already. Uh, we talked to DK last week about learning kind of the ins and outs of this defense. You mentioned not, not all that much time with Coach Gibson. What's that experience been like with you, as well with, along with the fellow safeties like DK and John Carter? And all as that far stuff? as the learning yes. of the defense, oh, it hasn't been um, hard at all. You know, this defense is very simple, but we show a lot of different things. So, you know, we really, you really want to know from an offensive perspective exactly what we're showing. You know. And like I told him earlier, um, the learning curve hasn't really been that hard uh, since we came. They've been very proactive in the installs and getting us up to speed. So shout out to the uh, coaches for doing that. How much does that help? You know, how much does your high school quarterback background help playing the secondary? Uh, a lot, actually. You know, I understand concepts and things of that nature as far as what the offense is trying to do. It, so I'm able to now use that cerebral on the defensive side and, you know, be able to play faster depending on the things that's being shown to me. Maybe it's already happened, but what do you kind of tell someone, some of your buddies at Akron, like, okay, this is what it's like at a place like NC yeah. State, or this is how different it is here? Yeah, I share, I share my experiences when I was at West Virginia as well, you know, coming from West Virginia to Akron. Um, you know, I try to tell them, like, try to instill culture, things of that nature. As you know, like, Akron in the last recent years hasn't really been traditionally a winning team. So, you know, coming into Akron and trying to bring that and instill that um, was definitely – uh, eyes open, you know, because it's some things that people have never seen before. You know, we got guys that come in from high school thinking that this is the way that, you know, things are supposed to happen. And it's not, I came from a blue, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a blue collar program. So, you know, I definitely know how hard work is. What stands out then about the culture uh, that has been set here? Uh, you know, a lot of people talk about family, but I definitely feel family here. Um, you know, Coach Doran is very hands on. Uh, just like all the other coaches, you know, they call, check up on you. Um, anything you need, like, generally, like, they're really there for you. And I feel that. You've been able to play so many different positions over the years. What's kind of like your niche here? What do you kind of feel you're settling into? Uh, strong safety. Yeah, strong safety. What do you like about that position? Uh, I'm free a lot of the time. <laughs> so <laughs> I get to break on the ball, things of that nature. Uh, just doing what I feel like I do best, you know, and that's part of the reason why I came here. Only not uh, to reunite. Coach Gibby also showcased my talents in order to help the team win as they've been doing.